So this is my Dego page, and I went to my groups up at the top, and you'll notice that I have one for the Innovative Educator Advanced Study Certificate, and it is a private group. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that group. And so what I've done is I actually have set up um, different tags. So I've tagged it by uh, the course. So I have my five courses for the program is uh, 901, 902, 903, 904, 905. So whenever I come across an article, usually from Twitter, um, that I think would fit into one of those courses, I use the Digo extension up at, in my Chrome browser here and then I would tag it and I would include the course and then I also include which module it is. So for my Innovative Pedagogies course I do IP1, Module 1 and then for, um, let me view all my tags. Um, so here's 904 IC is for the 904 course. Um, here you can see GYT Module 1, that's my Google and YouTube course Module 1. Google and YouTube Module 5, and this one I have GYT module question mark because sometimes when I'm adding um, when I'm adding tags I can't remember which module it would have fit in so then I just later go back and I look for do a search for the ones that have the module question mark and I sit there with the um, syllabus next to me and I and I assign them properly um, and delete out that tag and so then I just try and tag it so as they were like oh I want to look up stuff on games or gamification they can just Obviously, tags help them to do that, but what their assignment is, is say that they are in the 901 course, they would click on that tag, and then here's all the links for that course. But I require that they spend one hour a week um, reading articles, and so it's going to vary for student to student. So what they would do is say if they're in Module 5, let's see if I can find here one that says Module 5. Let's just go with Module 6. So you would just click on uh, this so that I'm now looking at just tags that are um, IP Module 6. And so they're filtered down so they can look through and they can choose which ones look the most interesting to them. So you'll see that we've added um, some links and then we give a little comment about why we like it. And what we don't want to do is we don't want students to have discussions in the, the Digo. It does send out an email and um, that becomes too much. What we do want them to do is be more like Amazon style where they give recommendations. So this was a good article, I learned from it or it wasn't. And um, so we ask that students do not add articles. Um, I found that if a student added an article to the group I couldn't delete it. Um, hopefully there's a way since I'm administrator and they're not. Um, but I do want to give them rights so that they can recommend. So as students, other students look through the list of what are they going to spend their hour looking at, um, they can see student recommendations. And then um, maybe a student says, hey, this article is five years old, it's totally outdated. They can avoid those. And I'm always adding new ones and they're able to see which, um, which articles are the most relevant and, and new material. And then I don't really need to constantly updating some list that I have somewhere else. Um, my old system was, oh, here's a link, and I add it to my Google site, and I, you know, and I always have to like, okay, I have the link, I have to open my Google site, sign in, add to the list, then as stuff becomes outdated, or I want to put extra comments, you know, it just didn't get updated. And I'm not really updating the Deagle list either, other than I'm crowdsourcing my students' opinions about it, and I'm giving the other students choice, because sometimes old articles have information also, so what they would then do is um, get the link to that and they would blog about it, um, blog about the articles that they read uh, for their hour a week. So that was what their assignment was.